This is a well prepared reticulocyte smear. The method is already shown in part 1. So first of all I am going to show you how it looks on 10 just to give you an idea of how a well prepared slide should look. Uh, otherwise if the slide is not well prepared uh, the 40 and 10 also give a very distorted appearance and the color is dim in it. So we are going to see and actually record the reticulocyte count at the oil immersion lens or the 100 lens. So here we are focusing at 100 or oil immersion lens and you can see that there are around 1 to 2 reticulocytes present in this uh, one field of RBCs. So um, now I am going to show you this condenser iris and uh, this plays an important part in the reticulocyte uh, focusing as the reticulocyte cells are quite refractile and uh, the adjustment of light is sometimes needed for proper focusing of reticulocytes. So uh, now I am going to show you how we read or actually record the reticulocytes. You might be needing to adjust the fine focus to adjust the clarity and this is one field over here as shown so to record the number of reticular sites we will see 10 fields for example this is one field and one field is showing one one reticular site and you can see the appearance that it has thread like thread like or dot like structures inside the rbc and uh, let's compare with a WBC in the same field. You can see that this one, which is much darker, darker stained, is a WBC, while the retic is has dot or thread-like purplish uh, nuclear remnants in the cytoplasm. So this is the formula which we will use for calculation. The reference is Desi Practical Hematology. So we are just noting three things: the number of reticular sites in one field the number of red cells total red cells in a field y for example if i'm seeing one field and it has 100 rbcs this is how i'm going to calculate it you can simply note each field and write down corresponding number of reticular sites that you see in that field note that this uh, formula i'm applying is for 100 rbcs per field and i have written 2 2 1 1 1 as the number of reticular sites so if we total it up it becomes out to be 10 so using the formula it comes out 1 so you can simply say that if you have a sum total of the reticular size just remove 1 0 and you get the answer in percentage similarly there are times when the sample you're calculating retic for is anemic and has a low hematocrit so what we will do is we will calculate the corrected retic count so hematocrit divided by the normal hematocrit for example you can see that i've seen 33 hematocrit divided by 45 then you what the answer is you will multiply it with the actual reticulocyte count and then you get the corrected reticulocyte count so in anemias you always calculate the corrected reticulocyte count this is just another example of field showing reticulocytes subscribe to my channel for more such videos and topics thank you